Welcome back to the show once again. Uh, Chris Galis tried to bench press our next guest on his way out as well, but uh, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time. But we are honored to have <laughs> artist Roy Henry Vickers here to tell us about what he's been up to and a great fundraiser. How are you? Hi, Roy. How are you? I'm fine. I've never been better in my life. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for leaving the homestead to come down to Vancouver for a day. You're up in northern BC now, right? I'm up in northern BC on the Skeena River, one of the most beautiful places in our province, and not too many people down here know about it. Yeah. How does that uh, influence? Uh, your work and, and your ability to work and, and just your life, I guess, in general, living in that part of the world. It's so beautiful. Well, I work from inspiration, and uh, there is so much inspiration up there, and I work at home, so I'm very relaxed, and I can work when the children are in, are in, are in bed, and yeah. I can work whenever... Have you I'm always worked at home, or is that something new for no, you? No, I've, I've done it for two years now, and... Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, and I think for a lot of people, if given the option to work at home, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be very prolific in terms of my work. Do you work more when you're in that environment or more sort of relaxed setting? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, and relaxation is really important. When you're working from inspiration, you're always excited about the next piece yeah. and there's always many pieces coming for me. And so when I'm in a, in a place where I'm comfortable, I can just take my time and let the ideas roll around and work with them and, and bring the... Well, it's fascinating to me how much of your work is uh, um, outside of just pure art. I mean, design, right, for you is, is sort of... It is a big driving force in what you do and, and the way that you've created things in different mediums as well is, is really interesting. Yeah, design is everything, really. Everything, everything you look at is design from, from what you wear to what you drive. To what yeah. you have around your neck, which yes. is a beautiful piece of jewelry and you designed that and then had somebody make That's it for you, is that right? right? Yes, yeah. A, a brilliant young man who's here in Vancouver, his name is Jesse Brillen. He's a Hyde artist and a friend of mine. And, when I wanted this piece done, he said, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Beautiful. I gave him a little drawing, and away he went. And away he went. Do you do a lot of collaborations? Do you do that a lot with other artists? Yes, and I love it. I, I love bringing two minds together and just see what comes out of it, because you never know. Yeah. And you influence each other, and, and magic happens. And I was walking through the airport just uh, a week or so ago, and I didn't know you were coming on the show at this time. And I was talking to a friend about how amazing it is to come home to Vancouver anytime when you smell the fresh air when you come back from somewhere, but walking through the airport yeah. to see what has been done to it. And uh, tell us about your role and how you ended up being uh, the designer behind the airport. Yeah, well, I don't know if I was a designer. Design there were a lot team. of designers there. <laughs> Consultant. Yeah. I, I was the in-house artist, uh, and Frank O'Neill sent uh, a young man over to Metropolitan Press. I was working on a book at the time, and he sent this young man over with another book that I did called Solstice, the Art of Roy Henry Vickers, and he was to ask me a question, that is, do you think we could get the feeling of this book in the Vancouver International Airport? And I didn't know that my answer hinged on what would happen next, but I said, of course we can do this. <laughs> and so the next thing I knew, I was off to the airport. Wow. <laughs> they literally and hustled Frank, you into a car. Yeah, and <laughs> Frank and I remained friends and yeah. worked together right until he retired. Well, and I guess that's what I mean by design. I mean, walking through something that feels like you're inside a work of art. You know, it's like walking through a museum when you go through there. And that's a very unusual way to enter a city mm. from an airplane. Like, you just don't experience it that very often. And it's, a, yeah, it's a multi multicultural thing. And the, what he was interested in mostly was how do we bring the culture of all of these different nations on the coast into this airport? Yeah. And I said, well, we, we first of all just sit down and talk about it, and we'll go from there. Easy yeah. said so. by you. Now, we wanted to talk about uh, Ride to Live. There's a great fundraiser that's happening tonight, and then the ride is happening on May the 29th. But first of all, explain to us what Ride to Live is. Ride to Live is an organization that I bumped into a couple of years ago um, to do with prostate cancer. And the first thing I realized was, the first thing that came to my mind was I lost an uncle, very dear uncle, to prostate cancer. And what I heard from these people was that men are reluctant to speak about it, yeah. let alone be examined. Yeah. And uh, whatever they were able to do to bring about a more comfortable dialogue between men and people in our society, they were going to do. So yeah. I said, okay, well, I'll help. Whatever I can do to help. I'll and help. you actually went on the ride a few I, years ago? Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> that was yeah. the <laughs> oh, yeah. That was last year. That was year. the experience. <laughs> uh, well, the experience was incredible. First of all, I sold my Harley and bought a 
number of horses that I ride. <laughs> yeah. And when I was in the city, the Harley was a replacement for horses. But there I was in the front of the 250 or 300 motorcycles, <laughs> and we're heading up. Um, what is the boundary between Vancouver and? And Burnaby? And Burnaby? Boundary. Burnaby. Oh, boundary, yeah, yeah. Boundary. Yeah. Boundary. Boundary. Yeah, so you're boundary. going up that hill. And going up the hill, and we're going to turn right on Hastings, and I'm looking in my rear view mirror at hundreds of motorcycles. And <laughs> so you were right at the front. Don't, don't, fall. don't lay it oh. down. <laughs> okay, that'll bring us to looking at uh, some of your work. Uh, we're going to unveil a piece right now. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, this is the fundraising initiative for Ride to Live, yeah? Yes, yes it is. Tell the, us about this piece. This piece was inspired by a photograph a friend of mine took of me in Tofino. I was standing watching a sunset, and I had my Harley parked on the beach at the time. And he took a photograph looking through the windshield, and you can see the silhouette of my head just yeah. mm -hmm. enjoying the sunset. And uh, it wasn't long after that that he lost his wife to cancer. And so when the subject of doing a, very, a limited edition print to help raise funds. It was a no-brainer for me. I just, my mind, inspiration, you know. Yeah. Inspiration comes. And Went I to know, that yeah, moment, I that know photo. the case I'm going to do. Unbelievable. And, so, and we called it Ride to Live. Well, and you look at the results as well, and it's just, you know. What uh, a tribute. Uh, it must be a fascinating process for you to just to know when you've got it. You know what I mean? Like when you're, when you're finished a piece and... There, that's exactly what I wanted to that's say. That's when the fear comes. Right, <laughs> did I say it right? <laughs> did I do it? Am I gonna do this right? Yeah. I see it in my mind, can I get this down so that it works? Yeah. Well, and let's it, look at a well, couple sure of other that. pieces as well, because they're just so beautiful. I'm not sure which one's next, this one oh. here. Uh, this was the one that was, uh, was this given to the Queen? Is that what? Yes, the original painting was given to Queen Elizabeth at the Commonwealth Summit oh, here in Vancouver. She all the best stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 1987, there were th uh, 48 members of the Commonwealth and uh, each head of each commonwealth got one of the 50 prints and I got to keep number one. You got to keep number one. Well, and, and this goes back, I mean, so much of your work uh, and other First Nation <coughs> Aboriginal artists as well, this has become uh, a real bridge, uh, I think, for people in their understanding of the depth of the culture that was here long before mm. we arrived. Uh, and that's been a real, I think, awakening for a lot of people, especially in the last maybe decade or so. It has. Uh, we, we, I've been working at, at this for, we have the Eagle Area Gallery for 25 years. I've been an artist, professional artist for 35 years. Yeah. And uh, the two pins I wear are for my work as a bridge between cultures. Yeah. And for me, that's what it's all about is for, for British Columbia to know more and more and more about our yeah. First Nations people. Well, we just wanted to have a quick look at, um, well, it's Your everybody's favorite. favorite. It's my favorite, too, <laughs> because I love the colors on this so one. But I guess you never know which one is going to be the favorite of people. Tell us about this one. This is well, the one, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is the one. There was a series of prints uh, called the Vancouver Series, and I did Siwash Rock. It was inspired by E. Pauline Johnson's book, The Legends of Vancouver. Yeah. And when I did the piece, I had no idea what would happen, but uh, it, it's just become a... Do you ever know? I no, mean, when you're finished a piece, do you have any sense of what's going to go and what's... No, I don't. It's I, part of the fun, I guess, huh? You let it out there and let people interpret it. The they... fun is to get the piece done the way I want to get it done. Yeah, and then the rest is up happens, to fate. Then, yeah, <laughs> then you're all right. Then, well, yeah. thank you so Sorry. much. So nice well, to meet you. you. Yeah, uh, the print release to benefit Ride to Live is happening tonight Sweet. at Dealey Motorcycles on Boundary if you want to check it out. And then the ride day is on May the 29th. If you want more information or to participate, you can go to the website that's on your screen. And to purchase a print, you can also go to the website as yeah, well. Absolutely. Make sure you go to the website. And when you visit Tofino, do what I do uh, whenever I'm there. Make sure to visit the Eagle Airy Gallery uh, Showcase of Roy Henry Vickers' work. The place is always packed and for good reason. I think uh, I read somewhere, Roy, that people thought you were crazy to open up your own gallery in Tofino. <laughs> Who's going to come here? Was yeah, one of the well, questions. Prove them wrong. A couple hundred thousand people a year right Thank there. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Roy. We're going to take a break. And we'll